Welcome to the Franklin Park Public Library Storytime video. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Laura and we are joined today by my friends Buddy and Alex and we will be reading Dogosaurus Rex by Anna Stanislewski and Kevin Hawks. Let's see what happens in Dogosaurus Rex. Oops. Ben couldn't wait to find the best dog in the world. At the shelter, there were cute dogs and funny dogs, and loud dogs and smelly dogs. But none of them were quite right. Then Ben saw a large cage in the corner. She's perfect, he said. I'll call her Sadie. Roar, said Sadie, wagging her tail. That dog sure has a strange bark, said Ben's mom. Ben couldn't wait to show off his new pet. He used a garden hose for a leash and walked Sadie around town. She's kind of funny looking, said the neighborhood kids. Does she know any tricks? Sit, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie sat on top of a car. Roll over, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie rolled over, right through a fruit stand. Fetch, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie ran off and came back with a mail truck. I think it's best if you take your pet home, said a police officer. But when Ben brought Sadie home, she couldn't fit through the front door. We'll have to build her a doghouse, said Ben's mom. So Ben started building and building until He built the biggest doghouse in town. Sadie seemed to like her new home. You're the best dog in the world, said Ben, rubbing her belly. Sadie closed her eyes. Roar, she said. The next morning, Ben took Sadie out to do her business. She did lots of it. Lots and lots of it. Clean up after your pet, a neighbor cried. Ben plugged his nose, grabbed a shovel, and got to work. Then it was time to give Sadie a bath. Ben gathered up all the soap in the house and took her to the lake. Sadie jumped into the water and drank it all up in one gulp. Don't come back, the lifeguard yelled. When they got home, Sadie's belly rumbled for dinner. Ben poured out some dog food. Sadie ate the whole bag and the rest of the food in the house. This dog sure is a lot of trouble, said Ben's mom. We might have to bring her back to the shelter. Ben hugged Sadie tight. He had to find a way to keep her. The next day, Ben walked Sadie through town. Everyone avoided her. Then a shout rang out from the fruit stand. Stop, thief! Ben knew just what to do. Sit, Sadie, he called. Sadie sat right in the robber's path. But the thief jumped onto a mail truck and got away. Roll over, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie rolled over in front of the robber's truck, but the thief ran into the farmer's field and got away. Fetch, Sadie, Ben called. Sadie barreled after the robber. Ben had never seen her run so fast. And when she came back, she had the thief 
clenched in her teeth. Everyone in the town cheered. Yay! Hooray! Sadie! That's quite a pet you have there, said the police officer. I think I might have a job for her. So do I, said the mailman. So do I, said the farmer. Soon, Sadie was the most popular dog in town, and Ben knew he'd be able to keep her forever. You're the best dog in the world, said Ben, rubbing Sadie's be belly. Sadie closed her eyes. Roar, she said. Well, I hope you enjoyed Dogosaurus Rex. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. See you next week.